Hi guys! So today I have a really super super simple easy tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these um, rag ball Christmas tree ornaments. You can see these against my darker hair. So they sort of look like um, cute fluffy snowflakes um, and they're really nice for that sort of rustic looking Christmas tree or really they can go with any type of decor so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to make these if you're ready let's go do that so the first item you're going to need is some of these foam crafting balls at about this size they're a little bit smaller than a baseball you can get these at several stores, Michaels, Walmart, but I got these at the dollar store and it was only one dollar for eight so I think that's probably your best option as far as cost. So we're just going to take one of our balls and then the next thing we're going to need is um, some of this sort of rustic looking twine. We're just going to find the end here and then I'm just going to measure out a little length of this so that I can make a nice loop to hang off of my ball. This is going to be used as the ornament hanger that's going to hang your ball from your Christmas tree. So you need it to be a nice enough length that it's going to sit nicely in your tree. So I've measured out about nine inches here and I think that that's a good length. And then we're just going to take the two ends, join them together to create that loop. And then we're going to use some hot glue um, just a, a nice bead of hot glue on the top of the ball to glue this in place. Once I've got my twine attached to my ball, I'm just going to take the ends and arrange them real quickly before the glue cools so that they're crisscrossing because I want this twine or hanger not to flop to the side. I want it to naturally hang up and down so that when it's on the tree it won't be lopsided or anything like that. And then once you've got your twine on there and it's nice and cool, you're going to need one other item and that is just some very cheap white or off-white um, fabric. So I got this small little bolt of fabric from Walmart a while back so I'm going to use it for this. It's perfect for this. Um, and and I believe this cost me under like eight dollars or something like that and there's quite a bit of fabric here so just get yourself something cheap it's something similar to this so you just want to lay out your fabric and then I'm going to just show you this step single layered but you're going to want to cut several of these squares you're going to need quite a lot of them um, so if you just fold your fabric and cut it while it's still layered you can cut several of these at one time. So um, what we're going to need is several three inch square pieces. So as I said I'm just going to cut one and then you're going to need some sort of pointed stick or something like that. Um, I have here either a pencil or the end of a smaller paintbrush and we're just going to need this to poke holes in our foam ball. So I'm just going to do one right now to show you, but you can poke several of these at a time. And then once you have holes poked, you're going to take each one of those squares, put your pointed end in the very center of that square, and pull the ends up so that your fabric wraps around your pointed edge. Then you're just going to add a bead of glue to the end and you're going to poke these little pieces of fabric in those holes in your styrofoam ball. And then just push them in quite deep. And that's pretty much how we're going to do the entire ball. So I'm just going to poke several holes in here and then I'm going to stuff the fabric into each hole and then I'm going to go around each one of those holes to see which spaces need more. So if you get a bare spot, then just add a piece of fabric there. And then I'm just going to do that to the entire ball until it's really nice and full. And then there's just one final step after that. The 
final step to completing these rag ball ornaments is you really want to try to get them roughed up so that they really fit their name rag ball ornament. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to rub my hands over it and um, try to get those threads to start to fray and that's really going to make it look nice and raggy and exactly the way that we want it. And then once you've done that your ornament is complete. It's super simple and super easy and they look really really cute on your tree. So just one last thing. If you want to make your rag ball ornaments smaller or varying sizes, because um, this one is quite large, all you need to do is cut your squares smaller. So as you can see here, I'm demonstrating this um, by showing you the size of the squares that I use for each of these balls, and you can see the difference in the size. So the smaller the fabric squares you use, the smaller the ball. But that's it. I can't wait to hang these on my Christmas tree. They're going to look super cute. So stay tuned to my blog for photos of that. So that's a tutorial guys. Super simple, right? If you want some additional quick tips, just head over to my blog. I'll be leaving the link for that post in the description of this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You know, obviously if you like my videos, then you're going to want to know when I'm posting more. So make sure you do that. You can click the big subscribe button that's normally located below the video or you can just click the creative glow that's just right up here in the corner. That will also get you to subscribe. And don't forget to come follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and all the other places on social media. Um, I'll leave those links in the description as well and you'll very easily be able to find me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys have a super amazing, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.